Well, it's been a long journey from Dubai in the Middle East to Florida, but finally back to the beautiful state of Utah. Check out the brand new glass doors we got to encase the office space. Turned out so good with the race more simulators. However, I have sold another car. A sad day. I'm not crying. You guys are crying tears of joy. I don't know how we actually convinced somebody to buy this car. This fine delicacy of an automobile. Now, I'm not going to reveal which YouTuber bought it because I don't want to ruin the surprise, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Now, there's a couple things to note on these glass doors. First and foremost, the plastic protective film is still on the glass. So, we're actually going to peel that off in today's video. I just want to wait for you guys so you can see the full effect. It turned out so incredibly cool. Now, there's one issue that's going to be sorted out on Friday and that is the doors open up from the wrong direction. So, the contractor is going to be here. He is going to switch the doors. They open up this way, but I'd rather have them open up that way and the reason for that I think the office space is super cool but a one car showroom would be excessively cool and if the doors were there you can't actually get a car in so the doors are gonna open up this way and then on this side they're gonna open up that way but they open up this way I just think it gives the garage that next level feel and then also check it out we finally got a railing on that second story balcony because safety OSHA. Now the railing here is not fully finished yet we still got to clean up all this plaster and it, it's bolted down but it's not bolted down. I was told by the guys at Unskill Windows there's a lot of static electricity when you peel this plastic off. So, oh my gosh, I can feel it. That's crazy. You know when you buy a new car and you get to pull off the plastic? It's kind of like that. Come on. Look at your hair. Look at it. What? That's amazing. <laughs> And you know how I like my butter with static electricity. Get it, so, get it so cool to see this plastic come off the glass. All the cars look so crazy. Now we're gonna save one for the end, this one right here, because inside sources tell us we might see a little bit of lightning. lightning bolts, yep. A little bit of thunder and lightning, baby. Work on your vertical. Come on, so you got that. So close. I don't want to flex do too hard, but. No! Come on. And standing five foot five at 112 pounds, Sophia Garcia. Get it, bud? Yeah, air Oscar. Well, Sophia's not very happy with me right now because unfortunately we have some bad news. Yeah, you just gotta pull up. See, doors go up, it's a Lamborghini. She's just so incredibly emotional. I gotta make it up to her somehow. So if you can't figure it out by now, the Jeep Lamborghini is, she's been sold. Let's hear that V6 sing. Watch chili dog. Pop her in neutral, couple of red. That Verde Ithaca hitting the sunshine. She might have fine. This is a tough one. It's like pulling a dagger out of your soul. Last night, I was tossing and turning in bed, trying to come up with a formidable reply, a response to you guys, trying to reckon with you guys, trying to explain why we sold the Jeep. It's not funny. The Jeep Burgini is headed to a better family that's going to cherish her and love her and appreciate her. She's headed off to greener pastures. And on that bombshell, today's video has been sponsored by the Ridge. Now I'd imagine by now, most of you guys know I love my Ridge Walt. I've been using the Ridge Walt for the last three years and it has been a game changer. It's super sleek and slim. It's got room for 12 cards plus cash. Before my Ridge Walt, I had this big, ugly, fat, disgusting Walt that every time I had to pay for something, I was actually embarrassed to pull it out of my pocket because I was so disorganized. The Ridge also comes with a lifetime warranty as well a 365-day guarantee. If you buy the Ridge Wallet today and you don't love it, you can return it in a year for a full refund. And the Ridge has all sorts of other really cool products, including the Ridge key case. I don't go anywhere without this. It keeps me super organized and super minimalized. And the Ridge is not just for men. They've also expanded to include a woman's product range. Check out the link in the description below. Visit ridge.com slash stradman today. The Ridge is celebrating their 11 year anniversary and using my special link, you can get up to 30% off through April 1st. That is ridge.com slash stradman. It's so crazy to think this is the last time I'm going to climb in the famed Jeep Ruggini. I'm gonna miss this girl so much. Oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Cold startup. I'm just as sad as you guys. Don't worry, I sold her to a family that's gonna love and cherish her, just like we did. Enjoy this view because when she gone, she gone. Well, we're headed off to Lamborghini, road us to Salt Lake City because the new car has finally arrived. The Aventador, she's singing the Italian national anthem. We gotta get you a neck brace. Corsa mode in the Aventador. 
than nothing better. We've been waiting for this day for a while. Welcome back to Lamborghini and Lotus of Salt Lake City, Aventador Ultimate, a bunch of Amiras. We've got a black STO. I'm gonna play a little bit of trivia with Sophia right now. I got one question for you. Is the Lotus Amira twin turboed or supercharged? Supercharged. That's right. <laughs> I made a very big mistake. I don't know exactly how it happened, but the last time I filmed the Lotus Amira, I said it had a twin turbo V6. It's a supercharged V6. My apologies. Please forgive me. I'm an idiot. It's got a supercharger. Ladies first, I insist, after you, welcome to Lamborghini of Salt Lake City. You got the SVJ63 right there. Now, it's not a Lambo day. It's a Lotus it day. So don't drool too much, Sophia. I know how you can be at dealerships, but the spec on that is sick. Off camera, Sophia just said she will perform the test drive. I will. I love it. Who's going to drive the Aventador? You can drive it. Okay, I see how it is. Here inside the showroom, she looks so good. I love the white interior next to the other red mirror. We also have the 60th anniversary STO. That blue is beautiful. Yeah. I just realized Sophia is actually a mirror spec. Did you plan gray that? sweatpants. This is gray. That's sweatpants. white. That is white interior on gray sweatpants. You're not quite perfect. You Don't call my white seats gray. They're, they're they're gray blue. They're art gray. Ice gray leather. Ice, ice, gray, leather. ice, ice gray, no, but ice is white. Ice We're both right. Ice is white and gray is gray. A little bit of a cold start up here on the Lotus Amira stock exhaust. This car is so incredibly cool. It definitely. We're gonna fix that. Sophia's gonna pop it into sport mode right now. You'll hear the exhaust valves open up. That actually sounds properly good. It's white. Well, yeah, obviously the card is more white, but it doesn't mean the seats aren't white. It's still white. Do not steal my Tim Hortons gift card, okay? okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cut back to the Tim Hortons Learn in the, the Aventador. No, Learn remember in the Aventador when you were giving us your Tim Hortons order? We're gonna cut back to that right now. Cheese bagel, cream cheese, bacon, and another treat cheese bagel. Oh God. Somebody is just slightly hungry right now. We're gonna hey. feed you after we get the new car. After. Priority. <laughs> One of the most exciting days in my car ownership history was picking up my laser blue Lotus Elise in San Francisco, California driving it across the Nevada desert here to the state of Utah. It's actually one of my first original videos talking to the camera. And now fast forward to the year 2024, we own a nearly identical car, the brand new Lotus Amira, compliments here of Lotus of Salt Lake City. The white interior. Gray interior. Awesome. Travis, is it white or is it gray? Ice, ice gray. Technically it's ice gray. But what is that? Ice is white it though. Means, it means I'm right. Wow, I see how it is. I guess on that bombshell, I'm driving this, you're driving the Aventador. But Travis, dude, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank Absolutely. you. It feels good to have another manual transmission in the garage. That supercharger sounds so good. I forgot because I drove one of the demo spec Amiras, what, four or five months ago when I ordered this car. This thing is a little go-kart. I think I've only seen my carbon fiber Aventador on the road maybe two times. It looks so menacing. It sounds so crazy. Let's see it. Let's see it. Smooth as butter. She is a Fisher used car. Oh, no, no, no. Gotcha, girl! I smudged ya! I laid down the hammer! <laughs> it's so cool to see the progression of Lotus, to see all this technology. We got parking sensors, we got a backup camera right there, because my Lotus Elise was like the most bare bones car I ever owned. And this car is still pretty simplistic, but uh, it's, got, it's got a backup camera. I would rev the Amira. The problem is the Aventador is backing into the garage and, well, you can't hear it at all. This car is so ridiculously wide compared to a back rear bench. I mean, those fender flares are wild. They have to keep going. Pop her into neutral and come fade reps. Come fade reps, nothing crazy. I have a lot of goals in life to improve myself, but one of my main goals is to put all the cars on trickle chargers before the battery dies. Case in point, the events or may or may not have had a dead battery earlier. And another goal of mine is to get a hood strut for the hood on my carbon fiber Aventador. And of course, because somebody was super obnoxious in their straight pipe v top Lamborghini, <laughs> I tried revving the little six cylinder and you couldn't hear anything whatsoever. Can you open the door? No. <laughs> it's crazy to see these two cars together, both 400 horsepower, twin turbo, supercharged, but the Lotus is just a little bit next level. She needs an exhaust ASAP. She needs an exhaust last month. State of California, though, with their carb certificate, unfortunately, we're gonna have to like, am I allowed to say that? Can we reverse the carb? Off camera, Sophia was like, you need chapstick. Story of my life, I live in Utah. It's the second driest state in the nation. So Everybody dry. has chap lips here in Utah. I have chap lips. I'm human. That did not last, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, yo, I gotta go a certain speed. 
Yeah. Right, because it's a new clutch, clutch pedal. Yeah. I was just gonna say that did not take very long. Sophia wants to go for a ride in the Amira, so immediately we're taking her out. It's such a cool looking car from Lotus. Like massive shout out to the whole team. It looks so good. I love the front end. I love the side profile. I'm trying to figure out which angle of the car I like the best. It looks so good from every single angle. There's a crazy render floating around on Instagram of a wide body Amira. I think we might have to get that. Let's see, what can that thing do? They're grinning it. There we go. I mean, I have an 800 horsepower Ferrari, so it's not really a fair battle. That car looks so good, like rolling. That is beauty in motion. You're probably wondering where are we going? So I actually sold, I sold the A12 for the Lotus Samir, so we're headed back to the dealership to drop this off. I realize financially that doesn't make any sense. More to come, a lot more to come. Just to clarify and repeat myself, yes, I swapped out the Lotus Amira for an 812 Superfast, and I realized financially, you're like, wait a second, I don't make much sense. Trust the process. The A12 Superfast was definitely one of the coolest cars I have ever owned, and don't worry, the brilliant exhaust has been pulled off because someday, one day, Sophia, I'm gonna buy gonna, another, gonna one. another one. Another one, definitely, 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 but man, I'm gonna miss that car. It is gonna be for sale here at Lamborghini and Lotus of Salt Lake City. This is quite a deal. Hey, Think about it, you're gonna an 812 for a it. Lotus Amira. Sweet. That's not bad. Right. <laughs> it's sweet, I love it. An 800 horsepower V12 Ferrari. <laughs> it's got double the power, double the cylinders, and it's three to four times the price. Yeah, it's so, a good trade. Yeah, it's great. I like <laughs> it. What is 100% official? We own another blue Lotus. So this is a photo of my Lotus Elise that I posted on Flickr on March 12, 2000 and where is it? 2013. 11 years ago, almost to the day, I bought this laser blue Lotus Elise. I drove it to the Bonneville Saw Flats. We got to recreate this picture someday, one day, but it's good to have another British mate. In British the family, mate. a British mate, yes ma'am. <laughs> now of course on the Lotus, you got three different driving modes, two are sport, you can hear the exhaust, Ooh, that tickle. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, I'm including that in the video. I am not cutting that. No, absolutely Cut not. A brand new Lotus Amira. They got a bunch more still to deliver. Massive shout out to the homies at Lamborghini and Lotus to Salt Lake. Oh, I'm going to miss her. The 812 super fast. I did not want that nonsense in my life. Peel that off. Get that thing out of here. So disgusting. Sophia's over here waxing her legs with an airbag sticker. Also, the lighting is, be no, you look beautiful. The lighting, your hair okay. is glistening. <laughs> this car is just so unexpectedly fast. That supercharger wine, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Definitely need to upgrade the pulley though, and we need a new exhaust system, but she rips, tater, chip, and the handling is at, just like out of control. This car is legit on rails. The whole drive home, I've been trying to figure out where the odometer is on this car and I have no idea. So if you own a Lotus Amira and you know where the odometer is, please let me know in the comments below. Well, there she is officially, the Lotus Amira. I definitely need to get an exhaust ASAP. I think I want to lower it ever so slightly, maybe get some different wheels as well, but absolutely love this car out of the box. A wide body kit someday, one day. I know I always do wide body, but hey, one of my slogans is, Wide body of the world, and I think this car would look absolutely sensational. Now the A12 is gone, that is sad, the G Virgini is gone, that is also sad, but there's a lot of excitement on the horizon, more to come on that, but on that bombshell, today's video is over. <laughs>